There's never been anybody to prove it. I'm Sonny Lipton. I'm Jack Dipsy. There's no one like me. I'm from their club. There's no one that can match me. My name is Nassim The Dream. I'm a 15 year old amateur boxer, giving my views and opinions on everything boxing related. I'm here to give you guys consistent, reliable, unbiased commentary. Boxing is my passion, staying trolls is my hobby. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. Good YouTube, so today I'll be giving my prediction for Virgil Ortiz versus Michael McKinnison. Who I think was this fight. Um, this fight was really supposed to happen, but Virgil Ortiz had to pull out that fight due to having Rab Deloisis, which is basically. Um, a toxic chemical that you know can lead to kidney failure. Luckily, Virgil Ortiz didn't have the lasting effects, but this is not a fight that most people really don't want to see, to be honest. Um, I don't like to call fighters boring, most definitely, but um, Michael McKinson's last fight against a replacement opponent and Alex Marshall was definitely very lackluster and boring. Uh, neither fighter was throwing a lot of punches, and you know, I think Michael McKinson is just a fighter who likes to slow the pace down, but I don't think he's going to be able to do that with somebody like um, Virgil Ortiz, who comes forward a lot, goes to the body very well has destructive power, you know, having 18 fights and 18 knockouts. I don't even think Roger Ortiz has seen the 8th round in this fight. That's just how powerful this dude really is, all right? Um, another thing is that Michael McKinnison just has 22 fights and 2 knockouts. He doesn't have the power that Mean Machine has, nor I think the boxing ability that Mean Machine did, did have, which led him to have success against Roger Ortiz, dropping Roger Ortiz, and hurting Roger Ortiz, okay? Um, I think that Michael McKinson will be competitive for the first two or three rounds. He's going to be using the left hand, going to the body, throwing some um, hooks to the head. I'm using the land and occasional jab, using the jab. But I see that Virgil Ortiz by the fourth or third round starts to systematically break him down with the jab, straight right hand down to the body, considering that the right hand is the weakness of a southpaw. Um, I see that Virgil Ortiz, you know, goes left hook, right hook to the body, uppercuts, just starts to really batter. Michael McKinson and eventually get Michael McKinson out of there in the sixth or fifth round. Um, Michael McKinson, like I told y'all, he stops a lot of his punches, reaches a lot, and I think that's a bad combination against somebody who's very fundamentally solid and Virgil Ortiz. Um, that being said, though, Virgil Ortiz needs to step up and fight better opposition. Um, there's a lot of fights out there for him. You have um, Boutiev, uh, Stan Yosis, Jerron Ennis, Keith Thurman. Better yet, Alex Rocha. Alex Rocha fight can have McKinson both on the zone. That's a good fight, Alex Rocha. You know, he has a lot of power, goes a lot of combinations, it's very quick. Um, I see that fight being a banger similar to the Mean Machine fight, all right? I think that Virgil Ortiz needs to stop saying that, oh, I want to fight Jerron Ennis in a couple years. Um, let the fight build up. No, I really think he should just fight Jerron Ennis now because, you know, it seems like Errol Smith and Terrence Crawford are currently tied up negotiations for their fight. So why not have the time be right now, considering the two best prospects in this, well, not prospects, contenders in this division, fight each other. Um, both of them are very skilled. I would pick Jerron Ennis to win because I think Jerron Ennis is a bit more polished in terms of boxing ability and more skilled than Virgil Ortiz. But Virgil Ortiz definitely has a chance in that fight due to his power, his quickness, his timing, and his um, fundamentally solid boxing ability. Um, that being said, though, I don't expect this fight to go to distance. I expect this to be a very easy fight for Virgil Ortiz. Uh, Michael McKenzie won't have the power to do it. He's just, in my personal opinion, another UK fighter who, as soon as he steps into real competition, will absolutely get destroyed. But wrapping this video up, though, like I told you, I'm picking Michael McKinson to get knocked out in the sixth or fifth round due to the fact is that Michael McKinson no power, overextends with a lot of his shots and reaches a lot. And I just think that's a bad combination against somebody like Virgil Ortiz who likes to bring a lot of pressure and physicality to the ring. But I think Virgil Ortiz needs to step up in the opposition. Like I told y'all, there's a lot of great fights out there for him only if he wants it. Um, I don't want to have another fighter out there. Similar to a lot of fighters in these days who just calls out people but it's never really seemed the willing to step up to the opposition. I definitely think that Virgil Ortiz has the skills to be a champion and possibly become undisputed, but he can only do it by fighting the fighters in his division like Keith Thurman, Jerron Ennis, Alex Rocha, and other fighters. But, drop this video up. This is not seeing the dream. Rocking his head and they say it's asleep. I'll show another one. Peace.